I'm here at the Autosport International at the NEC with yet another lady rally driver in the shape of Daria Pawłowska. Um, it's quite interesting is this, uh, she doesn't have a Polish accent, she has a lovely Welsh accent because, amongst other things, she works for Peter Lloyd Rallying. Um, now, Daria, nice to meet you and welcome to Sunday Driver with Mark Stone. Nice to meet you. How did you get into rallying? It's not the it's not the sort of sport you generally associate with uh, with people who, by the looks of your CV, also do a little modelling. <laughs> uh, my father's a mechanic and is a good um, family friend that was in motorsports, so that's how I got in, into it. Um, you were saying you got into it as such in many ways uh, since you were 13, which is 10 years ago. Um, what path have you taken to move from, shall we say, being interested in it uh, into being behind the wheel of, um, of a proper high-performance rally car? Um, well, I started navigating and then it went from there. Because uh, navigating is an interesting, interesting pastime. I've tried it, and I can't not look out of the window. I, to coin a phrase, I like to see what I'm going to hit. Um, it is the natural progression of any rally driver or co-driver to want to get behind the wheel. Uh, not necessarily. Some people don't like it, so they go for a straight to you know driving behind the wheel. So where have you learnt your skills? Um, well, family friend, he taught me how to drive on auto tests, and that's how I learned. So you're now with uh, Peter Lloyd rallying. So besides, besides rallying for them, you work for them. So your entire life now revolves around rallying. Yep, all motorsports. <laughs> so what stage are you at with your rallying? Um, I'm just doing my National B um, license. So hopefully after that, I can upgrade to A. And the championships you'll be driving in at the moment will be national championships all around, well, Wales, England and Scotland. Yep, that's correct. Um, it's your intentions, I conclude, to rally in Europe and what move up to WRC at some point? I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> One day. So, uh, we conclude, I know the people listening can't see, but I conclude the gentleman stood in front of me is, uh, could be one of the driving forces and uh, maybe one of the wallets involved. There's a nod on his head here. Um, what sponsors have you been able to acquire as you've moved along in rallying? Oh, God, there, there is no sponsors at the moment. You've got to sponsor it yourself. <laughs> so, it's all self-funded? Yep. yep. So... Are you looking for, actively looking for sponsors? Not currently, no. Just do my license first and then sort it out from, from there. So what car are you currently driving? Um, currently, it's two options, either G3 or it's going to be a Polo. It's being built. So. Which, which is your preferred choice? I haven't driven the both of them, so I wouldn't tell you. Um, engine size at that level, you'll be driving 1300s, won't you? Not sure yet. Not sure Right, so so the rest of the year, providing you get in a national beat, what lies in front for Daria? Training, training, and more training. <laughs> <laughs> what about your do training? Because I mean, Wales is Wales is quite, shall we say, quite thick with potential rally stages, both tarmac and uh, and gravel. Yeah, um, I'm not sure you can train a Landau. It's not a big circuit, but I suppose you you, you can't learn something there. So, which are your preferred services? Do you prefer tarmac or do you prefer gravel or do you prefer a, a mixture of the two? Uh, tarmac. So, right, basically you're a racing driver at all. You're not a rally driver, you're a racing driver. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with gravel, I, I really haven't tried it as much, so I wouldn't even tell you how, how, you know, how it is. And I conclude, being a, being a, a lady rally driver, your, uh, your hero has got to be the one and only Michelle Mouton. Uh, no. Meek. Who? Meek. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Meek. If you're listening, Mr. Meek, you've got an admirer <laughs> here. Uh, would you like to explain exactly why? Um, the way he drives us all. Nice, neat and, you know, to the point. Yeah. So, you're not one of these drivers who, shall we say, 
throws them sideways, plenty of opposite lock, you drive neat lines, which is the way to get... Somebody once always said to me, why are you travelling sideways? You're not travelling forwards. Losing time, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, where, any of the listeners, where can they see Daria in action? Oh, well, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. And where about, whereabouts? Are you, or is it just championships in Wales you're, you're, you're taking, you can take part in, or else out in England? Well, I try to do anything for now just to get me going and then see where we go from there. Daria, thank you very much for joining Sunday Driver. Thank you very much.